Here we have our movie app. Now wouldn't it be nice if we could access details about our app without having to switch between the logs and the browser? Luckily there's a new project called Xdebug Toolbar that displays just that, all from a simple toolbar at the bottom of our browser. Let's use it in our app. First we'll open our mix file and add Xdebug Toolbar to our list of dependencies, and then to our applications list. Now let's open our endpoint and add the toolbar. Then we'll open our dev config. And here we'll configure xdebug toolbar. The first thing we'll do is define a config for it, and then we'll enable it by setting enable to true. Now let's go down to our endpoint config and set instrumenters, which will take a list of instrumenter modules. In this case, we'll use instrumentation collector. This records our controller and render events. Then we'll go to our database config and set our loggers to a list that includes ecto collector and log entry. This allows Xdebug Toolbar to collect details about our database queries. Finally, we'll need to include the Xdebug Toolbar's custom template engines. We'll define config phoenix template engines, and we'll set eex to eex engine and exs to exs engine. Xdebug Toolbar uses these to track template render time. With that, let's go to the command line and download our dependencies with mix steps git. Then we can start our server. With our server running, let's open our browser. And great, we see our toolbar is loaded at the bottom of the page. Perfect. Now let's see what data it gives us. Hovering over the toolbar expands it. So let's hover over the timings and we can see a breakdown of controller times and template times. From the toolbar, we can see what controller action we hit along with the status code. Hovering over it gives us an overview of our connection details, like our endpoint, controller, and the templates that we rendered. And any queries that were executed. Here we can see our query that was used to get our list of movies. Another great feature of Xdebug Toolbar is that you can set breakpoints and debug right from the browser. Let's see how it works. We'll open our movie controller, then we'll require xdebug toolbar. And then we can go to where we want to set a breakpoint. Let's go to our index function and we'll call xdebug toolbar.pry. Now back in our browser, we see a new icon in the toolbar. Hovering over it lists our available breakpoints. And if we click on the breakpoint we set, a modal is triggered that contains an IEX session. From here, we can execute Elixir code and see details of our request like our connection, for example. That's it for this episode. Thanks for watching and happy coding.